Fuel Systems in a Cessna 172. The Cessna 172 uses a wet wing or integral fuel tank. This is when a portion of the wing structure is used as the fuel tank. They are filled through the openings on the top of the wing and are covered by caps. Fuel lines then carry the fuel from the tanks into the rest of the fuel system. Now I'm going to discuss fuel caps, vents, drains, and valves. The fuel caps, as shown to your right, are vented. This allows air to replace the fuel consumed during flight. The fuel vent is located beneath the left wing and allows for expansion of fuel during high temperatures. There's a picture showing the fuel vent um, at the top right corner. Fuel drains are located below the wing as well, and they allow you, allow you to take samples and check for water or contamination. This is when we normally use a fuel sump. We check for contamination and water in the fuel. Then there are also drain valves that are located on the lowest part of the fuel system. Fuel is, there, fil fuel is filtered there, and the water and contamination is collected so it may be drained before flight. I'm now going to discuss where the fuel goes. Fuel flows from the two wing tanks using gravity to the fuel selector valve. From the fuel selector valve, the fuel moves into a reservoir tank and then it is moved into the auxiliary fuel pump. This pump is controlled by the pilot in the cockpit using a switch located on the instrument panel. The pump can be used to prime the cylinders with fuel before starting the engine. So this is one of the processes that we use during a pre-check flight when we prime the engine before we start the engine. The fuel then flows past the fuel shutoff valve through the fuel strainer located at the bottom of the diagram and then is taken to the engine driven fuel pump. This is where it is delivered to the fuel slash air control unit. The fuel flow rate is determined by the amount of air passing through this unit. From the fuel slash air control unit, fuel is directed to the fuel distribution valve and onto the fuel injector nozzle for each cylinder. Fuel flow is measured at the distribution valve and it is displayed on the fuel flow valve in the cockpit.